Hello, welcome to this short video about how to add a VMS layer to your ArcGIS Pro project. Here I have open ArcGIS Pro with an empty project and I have a map view here with absolutely nothing. And I want to fill this with one or more uh, VMS services. Uh, for Norway, much of these are available from the Norwegian data infrastructure for spatial data called GeoNorge, which is available from geonorge.no. And they have lots of um, data and services sorted under different topics. So if you, for instance, are interested in nature and data related to nature, we can go into the nature and here there are quite many data sets and services here. If we click on Tienste or services, we see that there are 105 available services. And we will have a look at the Inspire Protected Site data set. And actually there is a little link here. We can just click on it and it will copy past the URL to the clipboard. And you should also notice that whenever this lock is open, it's open data, so it's freely available for everyone. So I just click here, and this is then copied to the clipboard. I go back to my um, ArcGIS Pro, and now I can connect this to my project. I then go to insert here. I choose connections, and I will connect a new VMS server. And here in the text box here for server URL, I simply passed the VMS URL then. and I click OK. Then it's connected and it seems like nothing happened. Uh, one would maybe expect things to pop up here, but you actually have them need to go back to the map and you need to add the data. And now this happens to be located under the folder servers. So if you double click on servers, and if you then find this one, protect size for Norway on VMS, etc. Open this one, and it seems to be like uh, um, several layers connected to this. So I click that again and it seems to open. You will see a little thing r running here. And as long as this is processing, it's um, in process. So here we have added the protected sites for Norway. Um, you will maybe recognize the contours of Norway, at least uh, as well as the Spitsbergen Island group up here. This may look better if we add a gray shade VMS layer at the back of it, so we can see more clearly where we are. So here we have more view of the things. And one extra challenge perhaps for you is to how, if possible, we can get a legion for this various type of protected sites, which are shown here. What is the green, blue, and red color signify? So an extra challenge for you. 